Oh, you're right. I'm going to help you today with your John Olson study. So he's an Australian artist and he painted with emotion and feeling and he created vibrancy and lots of movement in his pieces. He also used lots of marks. So he would layer his pieces, so background washes, and then he would build on that. So lots and lots of layers. So here's a piece to show you. Is one of his artworks or a section of his artwork. So you have a look, there's lots of layers in that. There's colours, background washes, and then his work is very linear. So that means there's lots of lines in there. Lines, circles, dots, marks. I've used lots of blues in this one. Blues and greens. I'll show you another one. There's a section of it, again, lots of blues, but you can see that there's a blue wash on top and a yellow wash underneath. It's a bit ocean-like. And another one. Look at the excitement of this one. Vibrancy and movement. And his works were from an aerial point of view. He made them look like a map, which is incredible. Lots going on there. They're very busy and they told his story. So what I'm going to help you with today is uh, creating a background wash and I'm also going to use um, an oil pastel, a white oil pastel, or if you don't have one of those you can use a candle to create uh, some marks underneath the wash. Now if you're not sure what sort of marks, I've done a very short mark making tutorial that you can have a look at to get some ideas. But any, any marks that you come up with will be personal to you and they'll be meaningful to you, so they will work. Okay, let's, uh, let's have a go at a background wash. All right, excuse me while I pop the computer down and get ready to video. Okay, so I'm going to make some marks here with my wax. Just little strokes, little lines. For me, that's quite easy. I like the feel of those on my paper. Uh, I might do some circles over here or little dots. And for those of you who have a white oil pastel, I'm just going to do a few of those. I might do some little um, slinky type movements. And I might even do um, like a snake type of motion. Okay, so now I'm going to pop my wash over the top of that. Here we go. So I've got some blues here, blues and yellow. Dark blue. And I ble blend my light blue into that. If you don't have a paintbrush, you can actually use your hands, but then if you're using food colouring, that might not be such a good idea. You could use gloves. Can you see the wax resist working? some yellow in there. And of course blue and yellow make a green. So that should start to happen a little bit of green there as they blend. Oh, 
Oh wow, that's pretty cool. There's some cool marks happening there, you guys. So then once we've done that, we're going to pop that out in the sun to dry. You might like to do two or three. Make different marks. If you don't have any candles, if you don't have any oil pastels, don't worry, just do the wash because we're going to come back after this is dry and make marks over the top with pens, pencils, poskas, lead, anything that you have, paint, anything. So please don't think you have to go out and buy oil pastels or candles. You don't, but if you have them, they're kind of cool to use. Okay, there we go. I'm going to let that dry now.